Welcome to the online teaching learning session. This is our lecture number 12 and the topic of today's lecture is TRIAC. The course outcomes is student will able to maintain the performance of theory stuff and the learning outcomes are Student will able to identify the given thyroid stuff and they will able to explain with sketches the working of given type of thyroid stuff. Prerequisites the topic we are studied in the previous sessions are what is mean by direct and the operating principle of DIA. We also studied the VIA characteristic of DIA and the applications of DIA. The main application is DIA is used to triangle. That is the triangle we are studying in this class. Triangle is a bidirectional triode thyristor. This is the symbol of triad. It has three terminals MT1, MT2 and gate terminal and it has four layer structure. Triad is made by connecting two SCR antiparallelly and taking the gate terminal common. This means two SCR ko antiparallelly connect kiya jata hai. जैसे कि डायोड में दो डायोड को एंटी पैरेलली कनेक्ट किया जाता है मतलब एक का एनोड दूसरे के कैथोड को कनेक्ट किया जाएगा और एक कॉमन टर्मिनल निकाला जाएगा वैसे दूसरे का कैथोड और पहले का एनोड तो इसको कॉमन करके एक टर्मिनल निकाला जाएगा उसको नाम देंगे एम1 और दोनों एससीआर के गेट को भी कॉमन करके गेट नाम दिया जाएगा सो so, यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है एक का एनोड दूसरे के कैथोड का है तो इसीलिए इसको एनोड और कैथोड नाम भी दे सकते हैं तो इसीलिए नाम दिया अपन ने MT2 एंड MT1 मतलब मेन टर्मिनल 2 एंड मेन टर्मिनल 1 और हमेशा गेट टर्मिनल जो है सिंबल में आप देख सकते हो गेट टर्मिनल हमेशा MT1 टर्मिनल के साइड में रहेगा दिस इज द VI कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स which shows triac is a bidirectional device because the curves in the first quadrant and the curve in the third quadrant is similar. Means if the MT2 is positive and MT1 is negative, then the current will flow from MT2 to MT1 from through this third row. If MT1 is positive, then the current will flow from this thyristor to the MT2. Therefore, current is flowing in downward as well as upward direction. That is, current will flow in the both direction. Therefore, triac is a bidirectional device. Now, we see the operation of triac. It operated in the four modes. This is the structural diagram that is the basic structure of triad. The upper terminal is the main terminal 2 and the lower one is the empty one terminal. For the terminal which is nearer to the gate, a gate terminal is always nearer to the empty one terminal. It operates in four modes. First one is the mode 1 positive. In this, MT2 is positive and gate is positive. If the MT2 is positive, then the MT1 will become negative. So, the current will flow from MT2 to MT1. That is, MT2 is positive, therefore the current will flow from P1, N1, P2, N2. That is from MT2 to MT1. The next one is the mode 1 negative in which MT2 is positive and gate is 
positive if the empty two is negative and empty one is positive that is if our empty one positive hai to empty two kya rahega negative so the current will flow from higher potential to lower therefore empty one positive hai to first will p2 n1 p1 n4 that is from empty one to empty two third one is the mode three positive in this the current flowing from empty to positive so the p1 n1 p2 n2 from empty to to empty one and the third one negative in which empty one positive and gate is negative if the empty one is positive current will flow from empty one to empty one that is in the upward direction from which empty one to p2 n1 p1 n4 these are the four modes of track in the first quadrant mode 1 and mode 1 plus and mode 1 minus operates when the mode 3 and mode 3 minus mode 3 plus and mode 3 minus is operated in the third quadrant if the small leakage current is flow after breakdown it will turn on so this is the offset when the leakage current flow and this is the vertical line which shows the amount of current so this is the on state that is conducting state similar in this third quadrant also now the applications of triac triac is used in light dimmer circuit this is the circuit for light dimmer circuit means it uh, it it uh, controls the brightness of lamp it also used in fan regulator circuit this circuit is same as that of the circuit only there is a load which is fan instead of lamp also it is used in zero voltage switch relay and used in heat control this is the circuit to control the heat by using triac this is triac the summary of today's session that is we studied in this sessions are what is mean by triac and the operating principle of triac that is the operation of triac and the vi characteristic of triac we showed that triac is a bidirectional device and the applications of triac that is triac is used in light dimmer circuit fan regulator etc and the pure satisfied are as shown in the table thank you for watching this video and keep learning in the next class we will study about scs that is silicon control switch thank you thank you very much